Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this video, we are going to take a look at a new microphone I just purchased. This is the Sennheiser MKE 600, and if you want to take your audio to the next level, this is the microphone for you. Let's jump in, we'll take a look. Okay, so the purpose for this video is to give you a demonstration, of course, of the Sennheiser MKE 600. But right now I'm recording from the uh, my Audio Technica 875R, just boomed uh, out of frame. And I'm going to compare it to this mic. And yes, it's not an apples to apples comparison uh, because this microphone is twice the price. But the whole idea of this microphone is to give you a very rich sounding, probably the best audio quality that you can get for YouTube from a shotgun mic um, in a studio environment like this without spending, you know, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars US on MKH 50 or a 416. And so I think that's what makes the MKE 600 probably the best value choice or the best budget choice for YouTubers uh, like you and me. Uh, so yeah, the microphone itself is, it's a super cardioid shotgun style, has an on off switch and a low pass filter, which I will probably never use because that adds even more uh, presence to my voice, but I'll show you samples from, you know, one to the other. Now the box opening, as you can see, I've already done it. The microphone comes with a dead cat. It comes with a nice little zippered pouch. You're also going to get a mount that you can use to snap onto the mic uh, to mount it onto your camera, which is nice. And you also get an XLR uh, adapter to TRS so that you can plug this into your camera. So I think what makes this so great for YouTubers is that uh, the microphone can be powered by phantom power, but it also can be powered by a AA battery, which allows you to go straight into your camera. Now, here's the big plus from this microphone. The audio you're listening to right now is coming from the AT875R, this guy here. But to get it to sound as good as it does, I have to do some work in post, which I don't want to do. And so in comes the MKE 600, this microphone. You can simply boom it overhead, not do any post, and you're going to get a really rich audio sound that we're all looking for. Let's jump in and uh, listen to some samples. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've switched out the AT875 and now you're listening to the MKE 600 and the big difference is going to be that um, no post-production is required to get the soundtrack that you're listening to right now and that's not to say that this isn't a good microphone but this is a short shotgun microphone and the MKE 600 is quite a bit longer almost double the length and what that does is it gives you that nice rich bass sound that we're all looking for but it also gives you the added presence in your voice that you're not going to get from this mic and if you don't understand what presence is you'll see you'll see you will hear a really good example in a second um, i'm going to switch the uh, low low pass filter on this microphone and then we can listen to that and you'll see the difference from low pass off to low pass on so let's do that now Okay, so the low pass filter is now engaged, so everything you're hearing is the audio with the low pass filter on. And I think you can tell, now you can tell the difference. So it basically cuts the bass out a little bit um, and gives you more presence in your voice. And in case I didn't mention it, um, all of the audio tracks so far are going through my Audio Technica, uh, sorry, I'm going through the Tascam DR60D. And so I'm using an XLR cable from the mic, so it's wired to the Tascam DR60D. And then I'm taking it out of the 60D and into my Sony a7 IV. I've set the levels on the a7 IV fairly low. They're about 10 or 12, something like that. And But everything is the same. And so the only uh, audio treatment that I might do 
um, to what's coming out of the MKE 600 is when I listen to the silence in between the tracks, I might run noise reduction um, in Camtasia 2023, just analyze the noise to, to quiet it down a little bit. But what you're hearing right now, there's no noise reduction uh, being applied whatsoever. Okay guys, so I thought what we do here is I'm gonna turn the microphone or I'm gonna turn the camera around for a second so you can see where we are. You can probably hear the waterfall. So I've got this lovely waterfall close to where I live. It's actually a dam. And so I thought this would be a really good uh, test of the rejection of the microphone. And so, so this is what you're hearing. I'm probably two feet in front of the camera, two feet in front of the microphone. And uh, yeah, so if I turn the camera a little bit, the microphone is gonna go, but it's about a 45 degree angle now. So testing one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to bring it back. I'm really curious to hear what this sounds like to see how well it rejects that background waterfall noise. So if it does a good job on that, it's probably going to handle anything in the studio just fine or any kind of low rumbling noise. And so this is with uh, the low pass filter uh, off and now I'll turn the low pass filter on. Okay, so low pass filter is on and I'll turn the microphone again, but uh, so low, fast, low pass filter is on, low pass filter is on, low pass filter, we're about 45 degrees, now about 90 degrees, and yeah. Okay, so that should be a pretty darn good test with the low pass filter on and with the low pass filter off for you to make a judgment as to whether this is a microphone that's gonna work for you. And now, just as an added bonus, I'll test the AT-875R. Okay, exact same location. Now this is the AT-875R. And by the way, I've got a road there that the truck just went by, so that's gonna help uh, to the test, I guess, uh, a little bit. But uh, anyways, this is now the AT-875R, same location and I'm two feet in front of the microphone and now I'm just going to turn the microphone to about a 45 degree angle and there we go and now we're back so again this is the AT-875R and what you hear is what you get. All right, so now that we're back from the waterfall, I don't know what you guys thought, but definitely I think the Sennheiser did a better job of rejecting the noise. Um, that's not to say the AT-875 was not uh, usable. I mean, it's a usable microphone for sure, but really I'm just trying to show you the difference between a short shotgun and something that um, is a little more expensive well, okay, almost twice the price, um, to give you sort of perspective on what you're gonna get when you pay a little bit more money uh, for better quality. And speaking of money, at the time of this video, the best price I could find on the Sennheiser was $314 US. The A75R was $169. So, you know, if you're like me and you've had, you've been using an 875 for some time or some other mic and you're trying to up your game, um, you're not going to go wrong with the Sennheiser MKE uh, 600 and I think what you'll find is most people once they catch on to the 600 they're going to forget all about the 416 and the, the MKH 50 and save some money. I mean Hollywood used those microphones that's great but this is just a YouTube content uh, video not use me not a Hollywood production so uh, for my money, I'll take the Sennheiser MKE 600 any day. Paul you changed your wardrobe. It looks fabulous. So last night I was editing this video and another use case came to me and here it is. So here's your shotgun mic with the XLR to the uh, TRS adapter going into a, a wireless uh, microphone system. In this case, it's the Boom XD. What you're listening to right now is the Sennheiser MKE 600 going into my Rode Wireless Go system. So it's wireless. I disconnected the XLR cable. And so I thought this would give you, you know, maybe there's gonna be times where you're out in the field and you wanna get that shotgun microphone a little bit closer to your voice, a little bit closer to your mouth to get a better sound quality. And so this is what it's gonna sound like. Okay, here we go again. So now I've got the Rhodes disconnected and I have the MKE 600 going through the Comica Boom XD. 
And so it's just another scenario for you that uh, you might be able to use. So for example, if you find the road wireless system kind of expensive, um, and you want to get a less expensive system, the Comica Boom XD is a pretty decent system. And I did a video just recently, so that'll be in the description for you as well. You can find it on the channel. Uh, it's a fairly recent video, but at least you get an idea of here's what it sounds like going through the road system. Here's what it sounds like going through the Comica system. And yeah, I'll let you be the judge which one you prefer. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you found the information useful and if you have questions, by all means connect in. If you found the video useful, hit the subscribe, like and notification bells for me. I really appreciate that. Um, I get a lot of positive comments from the videos that I do and I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, take care and I'll see you in the next one.